On August 1st, the Syrian Arab Army, SAA, and its allies continued their advance on militants' positions in northern Hama and liberated the villages of Musharifa, Azizia, Abu Raida Garbi, and Abu Raida. According to local sources, SAA units also pushed towards El Zaka and El Arabayin, but were not able to capture those strong points of Hayat Tahrir el Sham. The former Syrian branch of Al Qaeda and its allies, especially Jaish el Issa, have reportedly suffered from heavy losses as a result of the recent clashes and intensified bombing campaign. At least 11 militants of the Turkish backed Sukur el Sham brigades were killed on August 1st when pro government fighters raided their position near Ichaz in southern Idlib. The attackers reportedly used silenced weapons to kill everyone that was inside the position before withdrawing to the SAA positions near Abu Duhur airbase. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights reported that the raid was carried out by the pro-government tribesmen from southeastern Idlib. However, the military media said that SAA's special forces were employed. Late on August 1st, the Syrian state-run news agency Sana announced that the Damascus government had accepted a new ceasefire agreement in Greater Idlib, despite the tactical success in northern Hama. The ceasefire entered into force on August 2nd. A military source told the state-run agency that the ceasefire will be implemented as long as Idlib militants remain committed to the demilitarized zone agreement. The agreement reached in September 2018 says that radical militants and heavy weapons should be withdrawn from the demilitarized zone around Idlib. However, it was not implemented because militant groups just ignored it. Local sources say that it is unlikely that they will fulfill the agreement demands despite a new peaceful initiative. On August 1st, the Israeli military struck an SAA position at El Berika Hill in the province of El Kinetra. Last week, a similar Israeli attack targeted military equipment of the army in the towns of Tel El Khara and Tel El Ahmar. Israeli and some Arab sources claim that the targeted positions hosted Hezbollah forces or even Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps personnel. Nonetheless, no evidence was provided to confirm these claims.